Um, talk to me about this methane pledge. President Biden wants everyone to commit to 30% cut in methane emissions. Basically, that's bovine emissions, that's agriculture. There's no quick fix for it now other than herd reductions, eating less meat. It was a feature of last year's a Glasgow Climate Summit. To, to Scott Morrison's credit, he did not sign up. We're in Egypt uh, next month for another one of these talk fests. Uh, this current government's all over it. Love the idea. Uh, call it aspiration, but we all know where these aspirations end up. Uh, they end up at the butcher shop. We can't buy meat, can't afford to buy meat. And uh, we've got farmers going out of business. Where do you see it headed? Well, I think it's a very bad move, uh, Peter, to sign up to this. Um, so I, I give the Albanese government tremendous marks on national security, defence, foreign affairs. I don't like the rest of their program, you know. Uh, um, I guess I'm a little more conservative than they are, but uh, if it's an aspirational program, then why sign up to it at all? And um, there are technologies which will reduce methane eventually. You know, apparently you can feed cows... Uh, you know, um, fragrant seaweed and uh, there are sort of uh, medicines you can give them to make them a little less um, uh, malodorous. But just let that technology uh, come along as it does. I mean, if you pledge a reduction and you don't have the technology to do it, then all you can do is uh, cut out the size of your agriculture industry. Now, the, the green uh, movement attacks everything from which Australia makes its living our mineral exports, our coal, our gas, and our agricultural exports. Uh, I think this is crazy. I think the government is too sensible to enforce it, probably, but I think it's very dangerous to sign up to something. And, of course, the environment in, is full of this. People sign up to stuff that they know is baloney, and then, uh, you know, the electorate gets very confused and says, well, why aren't you doing this? Of course, if we really did it, it would impose massive financial and... Um, lifestyle costs on us, which Australians wouldn't be willing to pay if they knew that's what was coming. Well, you're not wrong, but this, uh, you know and I know when this stuff gets signed up to by government, even if they call it aspiration, we've heard that before, it, it runs all the way through the public servants and we've got the teals in the parliament, pretty soon it becomes law and Australians have had no say in this at the ballot box. Greg Sheridan, thank you.